time for the Week 11 Statement Draft. Chris, who do you have? <laughs> oh, no, don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, Why? yes. Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just the whole Cowboys organization, the statement they made of just saying, you know, Mike Florio, that number one team you got in the power rankings, that statement is wrong. Uh, so we're going to change those rankings for you a little bit. We're going to do it convincingly. No problem here. We're going to make sure that they're nowhere near the top three after this one. Uh, so the Dallas Cow, I, you know, again, they're just, you, uh, we know that's not really the Vikings and I don't know if Dallas is really that good, but I, th I think it does show you what they're capable of. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And, you know, the adjustments they made on the defensive side of the ball, the talent they have there. You know, Dak Prescott, the way he threw the football, Pollard, the way he looks. I mean, you know, how can you not come away with that and just go, man, Dallas has got one of the more talented teams in football. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. It would have been mine. A total organizational statement, a, an ass-kicking and you, you may want to save some of those points for Thursday against the Giants or some future game. And, you know, my son and I were texting about this yesterday, too. If the Vikings and the Cowboys cross paths again, maybe you catch the Cowboys a little flat-footed because it, like, it was so easy last time. Maybe you punch them in the mouth early and you get a different outcome, although I wouldn't expect a different outcome, not after what we saw on Sunday. I'm going to go Travis Kelsey, mm. the Kansas City Chiefs. He yeah. made the pregame statement with the Fonzie T-shirt, football family and Fonzie, and then he had three touchdowns in the game. He had 100 yards receiving, most ever for a tight end. And that guy, it's just amazing. And he's kind of got that Mahomes quality where he moves among the other players. He's not the fastest guy, but he knows where the openings are, and he knows how to get to where he wants to be before the other guys can get to him. And he's just – he's just he, you can't say enough good things about Travis Kelsey, the football player, and it made it a lot easier to not have Tyreek Hill because they still have Travis Kelsey, and he still gets it done – even without Hill there to take some of the attention. Yeah, it is. It, it's uh, it's amazing. I mean, him and Mahomes, what they do is it's I, I don't know what else to say. It's one of the greatest combinations we've ever seen in football. I mean, Kelsey's a first ballot Hall of Famer. So was Mahomes. You know, the way those guys play in clutch moments, I'll add Chris Jones to that first ballot Hall of Famer, in my opinion. You know, they just rise to the occasion in every big moment. And Mahomes right now is is the MVP of football, in, in my opinion, for for what he's done. Um, I, I don't mean to go like uh, I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Shanahan here and the statement that he made last night. I, I think that's where I want to go. Just the just the, the the 49ers and showing you again that the capabilities of that offense and with the way Jimmy Garoppolo is playing, and we know the run game special, but it's all the other tricks and things they got to go along with it and the defense. A lot like the Cowboys conversation. It's just the 49ers, I think, put everybody on notice last night. It's not easy to win by 28 points in the NFL, let alone 28 points and everybody's out in the fourth quarter. I think it just shows, like the Cowboys, the potential this team has when they're kind of hitting on all cylinders. I'm going to go back to Thursday. Oh, night. damn it. Some love. Damn it. Traylon Burks. Yeah. Were you going to take Traylon Burks? I was going to take the Titans and seven get into catches. that a little. Yeah. Uh, seven catches for 111 yards. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was put under a very difficult amount of pressure by ex being expected to replace A.J. Brown. And that play at the end with 204 left. Brilliant play. This is the kind of aggressiveness that makes sense. You catch a team flat-footed. You catch a team napping. They expect you to run the ball in that spot. You know the clock is stopping after that play anyway. Exactly. What the hell? Exactly. Let's throw one deep. That was brilliant by Mike Vrabel. So, uh, Traylon Burks starting to come to life for the Titans and giving them a real option in the passing game uh, with his 111 receiving yards. Week 11 statement draft. There are the first two rounds. We have one more to go each. Chris, what do you have? I, I, I picked enough. I feel like I picked enough teams, so I, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to go there. I'm just. I'm going to go with Joe Burrow here in this one. You know, just the 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 way they played in Pittsburgh. You know, won the game by seven, but really, you know, won by more than that. It was a little bit misleading that final score, but just again, the big plays, the 
not blinking. Oh, wait, a big turnover and a big moment. T.J. Watt made an unbelievable interception. Just comes back, keeps firing. When there's a big play to be had, he pulls the trigger, you know, but didn't force the issue, was patient underneath, throwing the ball to the running backs and stuff. I feel like Cincinnati is getting close to getting this thing on track and really rolling. I think they made a statement, especially Joe Burrow on Sunday. And Jamar Chase could be back uh -huh. soon, which makes a huge difference. How about Cordero Patterson? Ah, I like it. Kick return touchdown of his career. Sets a record. A guy who got started as a kick return specialist and couldn't really do anything else for the Vikings and then started doing all these other things with other teams. And now he's primarily a running back. You never see him lined up out wide anymore. And he gets it done, but he still can take a kickoff to the house and he did it for the ninth time that's pretty it's an all-time record when you think of all the great return specialists chris that's pretty damn impressive yeah it really is i mean what a career and the, how he's been used all over the field it's it's very impressive congratulations and still to going strong yeah hi it's mike florio thanks for watching pft on youtube hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk